Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. I've done two previous videos on this supplement called serapeptase. Now, serapeptase, it is a proteolytic enzyme, which basically means proteo, protein, lytic, sp uh, splice, cut, dissolve, so forth and so on. Proteolytic enzyme, which means that it dissolves non-living tissue proteins like fibrin, clots, plugs, things like that. And I get a lot of questions and dosage according to, does it unblock fallopian tubes? Yes, it does. What about fibroids? Yes, it does. What about an antiviral? Yes, it is. What about to decrease pain and swelling? Yeah, it does. But what about the dosage? Watch the video, okay? Thanks for watching and please leave a comment. Be good. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jawad. If you're new to my channel, I, thank you very much. I always welcome newbies. If you're a return customer, thank you for coming back. For the newbies, all I ask is four things. One, so hit the subscribe button down below. Next is the bell notification because when I upload videos like this, you'll be first to be notified. Hit the like button, please, and please leave a comment down below. When you leave a comment, actually it increases the thumbnails over here. So more exposure I get increases my chances of affording the gas prices nowadays. So always appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwad. I get a lot of questions with my videos. Now remember, I do answer questions and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that I, that I see down below. However, if you have multiple questions, you could always book me for a session. Go to my webpage, hit the book now, button and it'll lead you over to the appointment page. I'll be more than happy to talk to anyone regarding functional medicine, overall health, in regards to blood labs, so forth and so on. You can either book me and we could talk either through the phone, we could do a Zoom call, or if you live in the area, you could always make an appointment to come on in. I'll be more than happy to sit down with you for an hour or for what it, whatever it takes. So I always appreciate it. Okay, so a lot of the questions that come around that I'm answering is, Serapeptase. I did a few videos on Serapeptase. This is a phenomenal supplement. Now this brand, I'm not promoting any brands individually, but I do use this brand. I like this brand a lot, but I always encourage all my viewers when they ask, do your own research in regards to supplements. That's what I do. I cannot promote anyone, any particular brand. However, I do do the research for the people who are, so for the people who are watching and they want to know a brand, that's why I always recommend do your own research. That always helps. Okay, so what is serapeptase? Serapeptase, it is an enzyme derived from the gut bacteria of the silkworm. Now the silkworm has to release this enzyme which dissolves the proteins that surround the cocoon. So this is where they came out with serapeptase, and this has been on the market for decades, and they have a lot of So what is serapeptase? Serapeptase is a proteolytic enzyme. What does that mean? Proteolytic. Lytic is to split, to break. Protein. Protein. So it's an enzyme that breaks down proteins. This is why it's so important to take it on an empty stomach, because when you take it with food, food is protein. And so it's just going to attack the food, the protein in your gut. And it's not going to be, it's not going to be beneficial. So it dissolves the proteins into amino acids and then it gets excreted. So I don't want to promote this as saying, okay, it's going to dissolve the, the protein clots and then your body is going to use this protein for benefits. No, no, this is just, you're going to excrete it. it breaks down the non-living proteins inside the body. This is the proteins like it's dead or damaged tissue and fibrin. Fibrin is a protein that's used to clot the endothelial lining, to clot areas that is due to inflammation. Now, it's a pro tough protein formed in clots, so we need fibrin. We need fibrin to form the clot, but what the problem is, is when it gets too clotted, it, before it forms a plug. So, Serapeptase will help break down the fibrin and excrete it. So non-living tissues are present only when there's inflammation, swelling, or clogging. So this is why this is good. It reduces the chances of heart disease and improves cardiovascular health. 
because it's the non-living tissues that the, that the serapeptase is going to attack. No, it's not going to attack the living tissues. I've had questions about that as well. It's going to attack only the non-living tissues. So now the dosage. Here's the money question. What is the dosage? How much should I take? And this is a lot, I answer a lot of these questions. So the dosage, it can be noted after two weeks and it can last up to four weeks according to what dosage you're working on. Now the doses vary. Now I'm going to talk about international units because there are milligrams, there's SPUs, and there's IUs, international units. Just an FYI, the SPUs are the same as the IUs. So when it comes to milligrams, 10 milligrams equates to 20,000 SPUs or 20,000 international units. So you, ideally you want to take anywhere from 10 milligrams to 60 milligrams a day. Now 60 milligrams equates to 120,000 SPUs, which is the max dosage. Okay, so mechanism, because I get questions that, well, once it hits the stomach, the acid inside the stomach is gonna dissolve the capsule, so it's a waste of money. That's great if you think that way. Then don't use this. So it, yes, it's easy killed by the acid in the stomach. Stomach is gonna kill anything in your stomach, providing you have good pH of your stomach. Sure, it's gonna kill the vitamins, it's gonna kill everything. So what it does, it, it moves in the bloodstream, and then once it gets in the bloodstream, that's where it does its work. It starts to unclog the clots and thin out the blood. Why do you want to thin out the blood? Because if you thin out the blood, it's going to move through the vessels faster and a lot easier. And one dose may last up to three to four hours. Now you want to take an empty stomach, which means that two hours after eating or 45 minutes before eating. Now it comes to serapeptase and planning. This is what I always recommend. If you get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, have the bottle right by the toilet. So when you're done using the toilet, just take your supplement then and go back to bed. It's not going to increase your heart rate. You're going to be, you're going to still have an empty stomach. So when you get up hours later, you'll be fine. The number one question I get a lot of is, does it work to unblock the fallopian tubes? In theory, yes, it does. If you read the comments down below and or do additional research, you will note that due to the mechanism of action, yes, it does unblock the fallopian tubes. Now, let's back this up a little bit. I always stress diet. Diet is most important. Gluten, wheat, dairy, soy, sugar, that causes inflammation. And when it causes inflammation, that causes damage to the endothelial lining the first lining around the tubes, which will cause the clot formation cascade to enhance the fibrin clots. So let's back this up. Let's back this up. Fix the diet first. I always say start with diet. So then unblock fallopian tubes. Yes, it breaks down the clogged tubes due to the mechanism of action. Now the question is, what's the doses? Dosage is 80,000 SPUs. I recommend taking that twice a day, two capsules twice a day. So you really just want to spread it out. So you're taking a total of four capsules spread out through the day. Next, fibroids. Fibroids start with diet. This does not work effectively if you do not cut out the sugar, a lot of the carbohydrates, because that causes inflammation. So fibroids and cysts as well. It dissolves cysts and fibroids when taken daily. How much? 20,000. 20,000 SPUs three times a day. That will help dissolve the clots and break down the cysts. Next, antiviral. It works as antiviral? Yes, it does. Anti-inflammatory treats bacterial infections. Yes, it treats viral infections. Great antiviral, especially this time. It breaks down the proteins that forms a virus outer coating. Used with antibiotics, it can enhance tissue penetration, which will kill the virus faster. How much? 40,000 SPUs three times a day. What about my bronchitis? What about upper respiratory? What about lower respiratory? What about the whole respiratory tract infection? It will help break up that inflammation of the lungs, of the tissue. How much? 20,000 SPUs, do that three times a day. Within about a couple weeks or a month, you should feel fine. Pain and swelling, it decreases pain and swelling. Why? Because non-living tissues are present. Non-living tissues are present only when there's inflammation, swelling, or clogging. Are we in pain daily? Sure we are. 
Now, the doses are gonna vary according to your pain. If you fell down the stairs, yeah, sure, you may wanna take more. If you just have run-of-the-mill back pain or run-of-the-mill pain, yes, remember, diet first, sugar. Lower the sugar, lower the carbohydrates, increase the proteins. You can take anywhere from 20,000 to 120,000 SPUs daily. And take that for about a couple weeks with diet modification. Now, who should, who should not take serapeptase? Remember, the function of serapeptase is, to, is anti-clogging and it thins out the blood. So who should not take serapeptase? Pregnant females, breastfeeding females, and also if you're on anticoagulants, if you're on a blood thinner, this, this is gonna thin out your blood even more. So be very, very cautious if you need to use this. Okay, so I hope this helps. And remember, please hit the subscribe button down below, like, leave a comment, leave a question. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions. And if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one appointment, please follow the link, book now, and I'd be more than happy to meet with you or talk with you. Always a pleasure. Thank you very much. Take care.